in this video I will build two battery packs with the Varicore 32 amp hour batteries and I will also test them and see how they perform. The weight is more or less as declared. For the capacitance test I parallel charged them up to 3.65 volt and then I discharged each one at 8 amp. All the cells I received, they have only 25 amp hours and they have a mismatch in the capacity so I had to make a strategy for paralleling. I double check the accuracy of my load and the current measurement is perfect. I will build two small packs instead of one big so I can experiment more. I will attach them with some adhesive tape. They should be um, square. Plus minus, plus minus. Okay. Now I connect them with the solder tab and the spot welder. I will solder only one piece of strip and then I will reinforce it later if everything is working. I'm using the 60 amp MGOD BMS which doesn't have low temperature protection for charging. I soldered also an additional balance plug so I can monitor them and eventually active balance. Now I will tape together the second pack but I will match the capacitance, a smaller one with a bigger one, in order to have a total balanced cell approximately 50 ampere hours. For the second battery pack I preferred to solder copper wire instead of uh, um, using the spot welder because uh, the, the nickel strip I have uh, are too small and uh, those uh, contacts are easy to solder. Also here I attach a balance plug. Now I connect in parallel to the battery leads um, a male plug in order to connect in parallel also the other battery pack we just built. Now some Captain tape to block the balance plug. And now some biadesiva tape in order to attach the two battery packs. And finally I stick them together. Having the two packs completely charged and balanced, I can connect them together and in fact the current is below 1 amp. I connect in parallel with a piece of pin strip also the two balance plug, so the BMS will check the battery simultaneously. You can do it only if the battery are completely balanced and charged at the same level. Then I secure the two balance plug together to the battery pack. I will still be able to divide the two battery packs quite easily by stripping off the tape and removing the connectors. In summary, capacity is only 25 amp hours instead of 32. I don't like the solder terminals and I would like better the studs and the screws. Mismatch is big if you buy only 4 cells, but they are compact and cheap, so good for experiment. So I will build my first solar system for my camper van, with little risk.